Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're joining us from. And in today's tutorial, we're going to look at a very quick tip. Uh, it was something that was added in IntelliJ 2016.2. And it's just a quick inspection tool that helps us get rid of that nasty field level injection. I won't call it a bug, but something that you shouldn't be doing. So let's take a look at this. I just have a normal Spring Boot uh, application here. I think I'm using uh, 1.4.0 RC1 at the time. Uh, nothing crazy going on here. I have a controller package. Inside of that controller, I have a course controller. And if we look down at course controller, one thing that we'll see is we have a private course service, and this is called service. And we're basically just bringing in a service here into our controller. If we hover over this, it says field injection is not recommended. We can go ahead and click more, and it's going to give us some more information about that. So let me do that again, and let's try this one more time. Okay, so there's our information. Um, Spring recommends that we always use constructor-based dependency injection in your beans. Um, there are other ways. Uh, you know, it's a whole another discussion that we could talk about another day, but. This uh, is what we want to do here. So we're going to, uh, we want to refactor this, right? But I don't really feel like re re rewriting this. So what we can do is in IntelliJ, we actually get this inspection tool that looks at this and then gives us a recommendation on how to change this. So if we go ahead and hit option and return, you're gonna see this menu come up. And the first one is go ahead and create a constructor called course controller, which is what we want and it's going to take an argument uh, for course service and so that's exactly what we want to do we want to refactor this from a field level injection to a constructor based injection so I'm going to go ahead and hit return and now you see there's no more at auto wire down here we have a private final course service service and now I have a con uh, controller uh, constructor here that takes a course service and then sets the service to whatever we got. Um, so that's a nice little uh, addition to IntelliJ. And even in this version, I'm using uh, Spring 4.3, I believe, underneath the hood. So we can actually get rid of at AutoWire 2 because this is the only controller. Uh, it'll go ahead and wire that up for us. That's something new as of 4.3. And if you're not quite sure of how that works, uh, I actually have a video on that. I'll link to that as well. So again, nothing great, uh, nothing crazy, but just another nice little addition. I love these nice little additions that IntelliJ brings uh, to the Spring Framework. So if you like it, give me that thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm just going to keep creating a bunch of very short IntelliJ tips and tricks because it is my favorite editor. And I think the better you become with these little things, um, the faster you can get around the IDE and code. So I uh, hope that helps and have a good day.